Hey, what's going on everyone? This is a video I'm putting together that um, it's an event that I went to in April with my buddy. Um, we kind of put this EK together pretty fast, which I'll have a video on that eventually. But this is him and I driving both of the cars up to uh, the firm racetrack, race the firm and which I've never been before. This was my first time going to this track. I didn't know what to expect. So um, it was with the Honda Meet. So this is just a compilation video. Uh, there's also driving. You know, uh, my vehicle had issues, so I don't have any in footage of my vehicle, but uh, we do have uh, us going around the track in the EK. So there will be some of that in this as well. Also, I did meet up with my buddies um, from Top End Auto Group, uh, pictured here, and we had a good time. Um, unfortunately, my buddy in the teal hatch pictured there ended up having engine issues. So uh, I was supposed to get a ride in it, unfortunately was unable to, but it's understandable considering what happened. The group you see running here is the advanced group. They were the first group out for the day. So being that it's the first time out for me and pretty much this group, this is a novice group, the entire first session is under caution. There's no passing. It's just follow the leader, which there's a pace car in the very front, you know, setting the pace.
At this point, we're on the third lap. I start experiencing issues with my vehicle. I'm having some weird steering problem going on, getting real bad vibration. And you'll see um, at the hairpin, I, I bog out real bad. Turned out I was uh, starving for fuel. Um, my fuel pump filter in the tank wasn't sitting there properly. Something about the PDF, you have to use the stock one. Anyway, I went back to fix it eventually. But um, for here, I was running too low of fuel and I, I bog out just after uh, this turn here. So you'll see uh, my buddy try to <laughs> pass me, but you know, I get the fuel and I start going in. At this point we're about uh, lap 5 and uh, I bogged out again. The lap before that I didn't because I didn't take it as tight of a turn, um, but my buddy actually almost loses it here too. Took a nice little slide there. Uh, at this point I decide to go in because I don't want to cause an accident and it wasn't fun having that happen. So he followed me off the track and uh, I hopped in with him and we went and finished up the session. You know, me riding shotgun with him. As we're coming up turn two and three, we see the guy in front of us just went off-roading.
in this clip. Uh, as we're pulling off, um, we noticed that, uh, well, you'll see. AC, baby. <laughs> Ooh, it's overheating. So at this point, we determined it's probably a head gasket issue. So, you know, we do what any other normal Honda head would do, and we bleed it out and we take it back on the track, right? Uh, my buddy takes it out, uh, let's say this was the third lap now, and uh, you can hear him there. Now he's obviously babying the car. You know, he's revving it to I think four or five thousand RPM at most. So uh, we determined that we can get about two baby laps and then we can kind of beat it two laps before it gets warm again. So this was the test to see if we can keep driving this car. At this point he's referring to me because I went out with him but uh, I took a buddy um, along for a ride so he can kind of give me an idea of what he might think is the issue as well because I was having a problem trying to diagnose it. Turned out that it, um, it's my axle binding and I was actually feeling it the entire time prior to this track event but I didn't know it at the time. At this point, my buddy had already taken the car out for an entire full session, just babying it. He never really got on it. But this was my chance to drive the car for the last session and see how it goes. How's it holding up out there? Well, oh, it's, it's the Cerex has a vibration. Yeah, okay. It has it has a bad yeah. vibration that we determined yeah, with the, is here. the axle. Right there. So it's literally doing this when I'm hard turning. So, so we'll have to set a track ready for it. <laughs> no, no, no. This, this, this one. This is good. This, this is overheating a little bit when I'm full send. So I'm gonna do two easy laps and then I'm gonna give her 
two full sun laps probably. Gotcha. So we'll see. What happened? Something happened? Oh, we're pulling the type R in. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Maybe you're running the gas. That tends to happen a lot. Yeah, I had to go fill it the first time I went out. I was running out of fuel. I had to go fill up. Speaking of, where's the gas gauge? All the way full. Okay. Hasn't moved. <laughs> Just make you sure. It's no good. <laughs> Hasn't moved. That's that single cam life for you. Funny thing is with that picture, those glasses stayed in the engine bay for an entire session. Um, I will say that we drove the cars five hours north to the track, and even with a bad head gasket, we drove the vehicles five hours back. The car today, it's been six months, I haven't fixed the head gasket yet, still starts and still runs. Single cams, you can't hate them.